Cozy Earth sheets aren't just any sheets. Naturally hypoallergenic, temperature regulating, and so soft, they are an experience. Plus, with sustainability at the heart of their design, you can sleep better knowing that you're making the right choice for our planet. Visit CozyEarth.com now and get up to 35% off site-wide when you use code HOLLY. But I know for you, you do really well on your own um, content platforms. You're really big on Snapchat. So maybe tell us a little bit about you know, how that works for you. What are your most popular platforms? What kind of stuff do you do for those platforms? For me, um, it's OnlyFans and it's fan central for Snapchat. And what does well for me is the amateur stuff. Like guys really like the stuff that's amateur based. Like I can be like, I'm going to the mall and I'm looking for dick to suck or a dick to fuck. And, you know, I go to the mall and, you know, I go find my person and, you know, I do my thing in the car or like in the parking lot. And they love that kind of stuff. It's like, it's really for them. It's, they get off on that. They really do. Or I'll, I'll suck dick in a movie theater. <laughs> Not in a real movie theater, but I'll go to the theater and I'll do the skit up to, you know, up to it. And then, you know, I have my little secrets. And yeah, they love it. They love the amateur stuff. It's really, they want to feel like it's real. Like, yeah. And it, they probably also want to feel like it's a chance that they could be that guy at the mall who absolutely. you... Absolutely. pull out of the crowd and like suck his dick in the car yeah and i've gone to like i've gone hiking i've even gone to runyon canyon and i sucked dick and i fucked i, f- I got i got fucked at runyon canyon with layla wow. Star and a, um another guy a male and um yeah so they so love- these are pretty elaborate scenes that you come up with mm-hmm. and i'm all about just like trying to break the, the barrier if i can just get away with it like i want to get, get away with it and I've done stuff where it's like I'm walking and a fan comes up to me in like a unmarked truck van and that, you know, like, you know, we have sex in the back of his van, stuff like that, which obviously it's not a real thing, but it's, it's realistic. So. Right. Right. Yeah. You're still selling like, a fantasy. They want to, they want to feel like it's them. And um, that's what I really do. And I, also do like themes like where I'm wearing like um for superhero like for like Halloween I'll do like a superhero theme like you know I'm fucking Batman and Batman's fucking Superwoman and stuff like that so and I mix up the con I mix up the um the talent that I work with you know like the girls and the guys and I also do like fuck a fans you know um um fuck a fans stuff like that too and then, yeah I just mix things up and I have contests all the time and. Yeah, it's fun. So you also do a lot of feature dancing. So I would imagine you probably put together some pretty dope outfits for that that maybe you also use for your for your scenes that you self produce. I do. I have so much. I'm like all about sparkly. Like as you can see, look at my my shoes. They're so sparkly. <laughs> I'm all about sparkles and stuff like that. Hold on one second. You can go out there. My little dog wants to get out. He's like whining like a little baby. Go so much again. Um, for me, like you guys can see the butt. <laughs> oh, I see it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about sparkles and shiny things, and um, yeah, I put them on my sets and stuff like that. But like I said, I like to do a lot of the amateur stuff. So I'm wearing like workout clothes, itty bitty shorts, like stuff like that. But when I do like elaborate stuff, like maybe like I'm doing like a salsa thing or some kind of something like that of dancing, then I'll use my um my feature costumes for that. But mainly just normal clothes, but like mm. booty clothes, like a little tube top to go hiking with some little booty shorts and stuff like that. So that's more of my attire for that stuff. What's the craziest one that I've done? I think it would have to be the one where I'm going to the mall and I'm looking for dick and I'm basically talking step by step. Hey guys, I'm going to the Topanga Mall. I'm looking for a guy to suck him off in the parking lot. And I had a bunch of people talk crap thinking that, you know, I was actually doing it and like really, really doing it and girls talking shit. And I'm like, you guys all shoot content. You guys all know these things, these little, these little tricks of the trade. So yeah, they were talking shit about it. I'm like, you guys are so ignorant. It must have been that great that they, you know. They- yeah. I mean, and you got to obviously like be careful. You can't actually do these things in public specifically because yeah. 
I actually just had um, Maven Doll and BDSM Neem on recently, and they were a couple in Arkansas who did do some public videos. And it was really tame stuff. Like she did a blowjob thing, like in some corner in like some huge like national park where there was like nobody around and like some panty flashing, I think in Home Depot and like vibrating panties in a restaurant. But it was all like, you know, and nobody saw them at the time that they were doing it. But somebody tipped off the police and this is in Arkansas. So we're talking about a pretty conservative state. Yeah. And they took off the police and then they like ended up embroiled in this horrible legal battle where they were holding like, I think 14 felonies over their heads, which if they got convicted of, they would have to register as sex offenders. Oh, that sucks. Can you imagine? That's crazy. Who would even? Yeah. So like it can really go south for you. But I think that what you're doing where you know, you have the setup in public places, but you fake where the sex is, yeah. but it seems like it's all in that place. That's how you That's how do those doing. kinds of scenes. Yeah. Like it's, I say it and I'm, I'm snapping to the point of it, but really it's mm-hmm. not officially there. You know what I mean? Like they think yeah. it's there, but it really isn't there. So yeah. It's all yeah. That's how you do it. In the mind- Cozy Earth sheets aren't just any sheets. Naturally hypoallergenic, temperature regulating, and so soft, they are an experience. Plus, with sustainability at the heart of their design, you can sleep better knowing that you're making the right choice for our planet. Visit CozyEarth.com now and get up to 35% off site-wide when you use code HOLLY.